taking a look at Los Angeles. Chris Paul and J.J. Redick are the guards. Inside, it's Griffin and Jordan, and it's Green in at the small forward. Griffin sets the screen for Redick. Here's Jordan, and he goes in for the dunk. And a sturdy screen set for him that time, and he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one, that's, that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him, and that's not legal. Offensive rebound. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And, and putting in the work on the boards, and, and it's paying off with chances like that. And Gia, he does put in the work. You're right. It's why he's on the finishing end of one putback slam after another. Well, his effort has never been a question mark. He is an incredibly self-motivated player. Six to shoot. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for the Warriors. Ian Clark comes in for Thompson. And then for Los Angeles, Cole Aldrich is checked in for Jordan. Crawford comes in for J.J. Redick. And Donald Sloan is subbed in for Paul. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. And there's a minute 45 left here in the first quarter. Now it's send it down to Doris Burke, who is able to catch up with Coach Doc Rivers. One player that he's talked to his guys a lot about is Stephen Curry. He said Curry's one of the premier shooters in the game, and he's got that quick trigger. We really have to be tight to him, get physical, and try to get him on his heels as much as possible. Guys, Curry is an excellent free throw shooter. We'll see if they can do that without fouling him. Thank you, Doris. Roberson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Curry passes to Pearson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Champ's got his first points of the night. And he's been the catalyst all game long. Love how he's distributing the basketball. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, when the offense runs through him, it's really smooth. There's a good screen. Roberson off target with his three. Golden State's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Pass to Pearson does not find the basket his second miss he's now one for three and Griffin here we go and the layup is good after a nice lead pass Griffin's got his third basket of the night and another lead change here how many of these are we going to have tonight I'm not quite sure but I'm willing to bet it'll be more than a few and it's going to be two free throws drew contact on the shot Let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who were the best shooters from behind the arc last season. Take a look at Redick. He's absolutely deadly from outside. And, of course, Clay Thompson doing just as much. Another sniper will hurt you from three-point land. Well, both of these guys had what I call in-the-gym range, or you could refer to them as snipers, just deadly from behind the three-point line. They line it up and knock him down. Goodwin's checked in for Curry. And Sloan kicks to Griffin. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. A perfect four for four for him to start this game out. Yeah, he's looking good. He's got a nice bounce in his step to start. Now the feed to Azili. Passes it to Clark. Here's Azili. He kicks it to Goodwin. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Goodwin's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Sloan. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Feeds it to Griffin. Three seconds left. No good off the back of the rim. And at the end of one, both... And J.J. Redick, a focal point in his tenure with the Duke Blue Devils. Both offensive... I think I'll forever be a... There's no doubt that... Mazzilli's checked in for Bogut. Barnes comes in for Draymond Green. Champs checked in for Andre Iguodala. And Goodwin subbed in for Thompson. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Griffin comes in for Jeff Green. Andre Robertson, he's checked in for Jamal Crawford. And Donald Sloan subbed in for J.J. Redick. Setting the floor for the Clippers. 
Griffin is out there with Andre Robertson. Then there's Cole Aldrich. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Sloan in the two guard. Now, here's Goodwin, defended by Paul. Goodwin passes to Pearson. Six on the shot clock. To the inside. It's intercepted. Paul with the ball. Now defended by Goodwin. Paul kicks to Sloan. There's 45 seconds left now here in the second. And Chris Paul, the bucket, on the assist from Robertson. Paul's got his first three points of the game. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Almost uncontested. I mean, it's nice to be able to add to the lead without having to really work for it. Pass to Roberson. He dishes it to Sloan. Paul left side. Just five to shoot. Here's the three. Rebounded by Pearson. Not good shot selection. Long range and a defender all up in your jersey. And you know, that's just the kind of defensive work he's known for. I mean, he can take that shot away from you and does it more times than not. That's a two from Paul. Nice jump shot. Good. Paul's got five. Shaked and baked with the crossover move, and that's what freed him for the score. And got him on the wrong foot. Azili's checked in for Bogut. Barnes comes in for Andre Iguodala. And Champ subbed in for Curry. Big group side. substitution here for the Clippers. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Roberson comes in for Jeff Green. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. And Donald Sloan subbed in for Chris Paul. Barnes and Green are the forward set. Clay Thompson is out there with Champ, and it's Azili in at center. That's the Warriors' five. Griffin against Green. The baseline J. Bounces high off the rim and drops. 17 points for Blake Griffin. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. From about 19 feet, and another basket for Golden State. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against Los Angeles. And no doubt in my mind, the overriding factor in that game was their huge edge on the backboard. Yeah, the level of energy they had, guys, in the win wasn't matched by their opponents. And that rebounding difference, I think, was indicative of that. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Two shots. Griffin hits them both. Warriors leading by 18. Yeah, we got it. Let's get the ball Out to the shot. wing. Top of the key, Azili. Thompson, left side. The pass to Pearson. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. And just solid play out of them that time. To the wing on the left. Griffin down low. He's against Green. That's a wall. Griffin inside. The shot is off. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really the in the rebounding shot. numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketballs. Had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. They're earning their points with the jump shot now. And that's right, Clark. Six of their last ten have come from the mid-range. Here's Roberson. He feeds it to Griffin. And that's not going to go. And as we conclude... And we welcome you back as we get going. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. 
The Clippers also making some changes. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Aldridge. Crawford comes in for Green, and Donald Sloan subbed in for J.J. Reddick. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, inside it's Griffin and Jordan, Donald Sloan out there with Chris Paul, and it's Crawford at the small forward position. Pass to Looney, out left to the wing. Goodwin with it. A floater, he takes it up and lays it in. Uh-oh, a little showboating at the end of that one. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And it's time for an injury report. I was told that it looks to be a strain of the lower back. That's a bitter pill for them to swallow at such an early stage of the season. It really changes the look of this entire team, guys. All right, Doris, we will, of course, keep everyone updated as we find out more. And you know what? He could have a long road ahead in terms of getting back on the court. But one thing we all know, he's never been shy of hard work. No, he's not. I mean, he'll be doing everything he can to make it back as soon as possible. Paul goes in. Paul is doubled. Here's Griffin. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Assist from. And that's 23 points for Blake Griffin. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark. Uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like that. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And guys, when you're cracking heads against somebody four times over the course of a season, boy, it's a great feeling to snatch that first game. Good adjustments tonight against the Clippers. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look right, back go, and, and go, see this go. was just a monstrous performance for Draymond Green. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Andre Robertson comes in for Paul. Sloan shot is off. Now here's Goodwin. Clark dishes to Goodwin. 11 feet away. And it's good off the back rim and in. The fans are just loving what's going on here tonight. A really good win for the home team. It sure is. I mean, they kept this crowd in the game, gave them plenty to cheer about, and really used that home court advantage to their advantage. Here's Clark. Passes to Pearson. Shot on the wing. No good. So we see the Warriors taking the game here.